What I'm now going to try is running two of the adapters off the one Raspberry Pi. And this is one of the older Raspberry Pis too, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Now to fit them in, just put these little USB extension cables in. So, plug them in. Okay, so now I have two adapters going to the one Raspberry Pi. All right, here I've got the output of those two TV tuners. Um, all in all, there's 10 stations. Uh, this one's a high def version of the standard F1 here, so it's actually two different streams there. And if we have a look at the network management, um, overall there's about 37 meg a second going through. But as you can see, that's um, making it here fine. There's not a problem with that, running two on a Raspberry Pi. Now I'm gonna try three tuners in the one Raspberry Pi, which is uh, a bit excessive, but gotta see how it goes. For this, I need a Raspberry Pi 2 that has extra USB ports. So I just plug them in there. Okay, so now we have three tuners going into the one Raspberry Pi. Still this network interface. And also the power. So power that up. <laughs> just to test it with three tuners in. I've now got the three TV tuners in the one Raspberry Pi. So I'm showing it as one TV tuner per monitor here. Um, there's 14 TV channels being shown. There are actually a couple more, but this computer couldn't really decode any more at once. Uh, there are some glitches on this one now and again. I'm not sure if that's that frequency's reception, um, or it could be something to do with the setup, but I think this is pushing it. But for the most part, even that works uh, pretty well. Um, if you have a look at the network traffic, we're hitting about um, 60 meg per second coming from the Raspberry Pi. Now I'm going to get really ridiculous and try four tuners into the one Raspberry Pi. Um, so I expect this to be chaotic, but we'll see. So we'll power that up and see how we go. When I tried to start the fourth adapter, the Raspberry Pi just crashed. So uh, three was all I could test. This graph shows all the data coming into the switch, uh, which mostly is from those TV servers at this time of day where I took this snapshot. And I have the six tuners, as you know, and you can see that all up, it adds up to about 110 megasecond. This last little one here only has one TV station on it. That's why it's a lot less bandwidth than the other five. This is why I like to stick to one TV tuner per Raspberry Pi. That way I know the system can handle it easily.